I am at the American Society of Hematology meeting in 2017 December and uh, I would like to say what in my opinion is the take home message in all the chronic lymphocytic leukemia presentations that we have heard at this conference. As many of the audience members know, there have been very excellent advances in the past few years in the treatment of CLL as it is abbreviated. And those advances are essentially targeted therapies. That is, in contrast to chemotherapies and chemoimmunotherapies that were standard of treatment in the past. Now, some drugs have been developed which are B cell receptor inhibitors which allow the CLL leukemic cells to be killed and to be stopped from multiplying. Two of those main examples are Bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor drug, Ibrutinib, and the PI3 kinase inhibitor, Idelalizib. The second important development has been in targeting what we call B cell receptor. B cell receptor is important in pathogenesis of CLL. And next to that is BCL2 an oncoprotein which allows the, 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 the cell be protected from program cell death. An inhibitor of BCL2 has been developed in the last three years. And the third group of agents are well-known monoclonal antibodies to CD20, which is a B-cell marker. So the take-home message of this ASH has been the further strengthening the power of these three classes. In the previous years, Ibrutinib had been established as a single agent and effective drug in controlling CLL. In the previous years, BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax had been identified as an effective drug in treatment of CLL. And in the previous years, obinutuzumab, ofatumumab, and rituximab had been identified and demonstrated to be effective in treatment of CLL. But this year, what we have witnessed is that each one of these categories of agents are now being combined because we recognize that single agent activity is good to control relapse refractory disease, but it does not lead us closer to a cure. 